This is the first in a series of videos about geospatial data processing with Python. Geospatial data refers to any data that is associated with a specific geographic location on the Earth's surface such as points, lines, rasters, etc. Geospatial data can be very helpful to describe, analyze, and visualize various aspects of the world allowing to identify patterns, potential threats and make data-driven decisions. In these videos we will learn the basis of geospatial data, from coordinate reference systems, projections, rasters, vectors, digital elevation model to deep learning application with geospatial data. In this first video we will learn about reference systems and data visualization. Let's first of all introduce what is a CRS. A CRS, Coordinate Reference System, is a standardized way to describe locations on the Earth's surface. It allows to define geographic coordinates on a map. The definition of a CRS includes a coordinate system, set of rules e.g. projection equations for specifying how the coordinates have to be assigned to the points. A datum. It defines how the CRS is related to the Earth, position of the origin, the scale and the orientation of coordinate axis. Examples of very known CRS are the WGS-84, used by GPS, and UTM, Universal Transverse Mercator. Now that we've introduced these first concepts let's import needed Python libraries. Projection are very important for the definition of a coordinate reference system. Let's display some of them with the help of Cartopy and Matplotlib. We have to define a list with the projections. We will represent the Earth with plate carry, Mercator, Robinson and orthographic, orthographic projections. The following snippet of code iterates each projection and creates a subplot. Plots can be generated easily thanks to matplotlib and cartopy libs. Once we have created an axis instance with matplotlib it is just sufficient to add cartopy features to it. The projection type can be passed as optional argument to the subplot method. Axe.coastlines is used to add coastlines to the map at a specific resolution. Stock underscore IMG adds earth image to the plot. The code will generate on a 2x2 two two grid for earth projections. Let's summarize the main features of the plotted projection. The plate carry projection is an equidistant cylindrical projection that maps meridians and parallels as straight lines, resulting in a grid-like appearance. The distances are true along meridians and equator but the distortions increase at high latitudes moving away from the equator. The projection is neither equal area nor conformal. Conformal means that every angle between two curves that cross each other on Earth is preserved in the image of the projection. Mercator is a cylindrical projection. The meridians are vertical lines, parallel to each other, and equally spaced, and they extend to infinity when approaching the poles. The Mercator projection is conformal, meaning it preserves angles and shapes. The Robinson projection minimizes distortion across the entire world. Distortion in shape, area, and distance is moderate but still present. It is ideal for world maps and thematic maps where a balanced representation is important. The orthographic projection is a perspective projection that shows the Earth as viewed from an infinite distance. It provides a 3D-like, spherical view with the central point as the center of projection. The distortion increases from center making it not suited for full world maps. Alongside the projections presented here, there are many others. Once we have seen some concepts, let's create a regional map. For that it is just sufficient to set the area of interest with the set underscore extent method. Beside the resolution of the map and the coastlines we can add other features as the country's borders and set a color to display them. We could also display more details as lakes, colors as in the following cell. Cartopy also allows to plot your own data on a map. For that we will produce some fake data on a mesh grid which has the latitude and longitude as coordinates. Let's look at the plot of this data. To plot this data on a map will now be sufficient to pass the data vector to the CONTOF function. Let's observe the result.
In this notebook we have learnt some basic concept about geospatial data and how to realize maps. If you have enjoyed this first introduction do not forget to subscribe to this channel.